This is Dane from NCB Fraud Prevention Unit. And what I'm about to explain is how customer debit and credit card are normally compromised at an ATM. This is not an issue that is unique to NCB. This is a global problem where frauds would normally go and capture customer debit and credit card information at an ATM. We here at NCB take our customer security seriously. So what we are doing is being proactive and let the customer be aware of what is going on in the debit and credit card fraud industry so they can protect themselves as best as possible. Uh, what the frauds that would normally do to capture customer information on, at an ATM is one, a fix a card reader, two, a keypad overlay to capture the PIN, or three, a people camera. There are several types of card reader out there in the, in the market that they will use to capture customer card information. This one, is, in my hand, is what we refer to as an oval shaped card reader. You'll see they put the two sided tape so it fits on the ATM, and there are a lot of aesthetics devices that they'll use to capture. Uh, the customer pin information they'll go and they'll fix it on the atm if it needs and it go undetected to the unaware customer but what we are advising customers to do is once you go inside the atm to insert your card you just apply pressure to the card reader if it moves or show any sign of tampering it means that something is wrong with that um, atm what we want you to do is to contact the bank and advise us of those irregularities this in my hand is what you refer to as an insert. It is the latest card capturing device that is out in the market. It fits neatly in the throat of the ATM. What we advise customers to do is to use their finger or their card to see if there is any movement in the throat of the ATM. Once there is any movement along the throat, then you know something is wrong with that card reader. What the fraudsters also need to capture customer PIN information is what we refer to as a keypad overlay. The keypad overlay it needs the over the genuine keypad. So once the customer go and enter their PIN, it will capture the customer information. But what we advise customers to do is to use their finger or their card or any device that is available to them to just check the keypad to see if any devices are fixed above the pin part to capture their information what they'll also use as well is what we we'll refer to as a people camera the people camera is used to capture the customer pin it fits neatly above the keypad so what we advise our customers to check to see if any device is installed above the keypad overlay to capture their pin there are several types of people cameras that they'll normally use to capture customer information this in my hand is another type that they'll use and it, they'll fit it somewhere on the machine close to the keypad where they can capture the customer pin information. This also is another type of people camera that they'll use to capture the customer pin information. This one is another type of people camera that they'll affix in the roof of the ATM to capture the customer pin information. What we advise customers to do though is to cover their pin in instances like those or to check to see if there's a keypad overlay installed to capture the pin information. Another type of card reader that is out there, this one goes with the L-shaped machine. The one that was shown earlier is the oval shaped card reader. This one fit neatly on the machine but just as with the oval shape, we want customers to apply pressure to the card reader and if it moves or shakes or show any sign of tampering, contact the bank. Something might be wrong with that machine. This in my hand is what we'll refer to as a skimmer. This is more popular at nightclubs, restaurants, or anywhere where customers will go to do their normal day-to-day -day transaction. What will happen is that the cashier or the pump attendant will quickly swipe the card through the skimmer. The schema can hold up to 1,000 debit or credit card information at any one point, at any one point in time. Then what the fraudster will do is download the information that is stored on the, on the schema to a computer, then to a reader, writer, and the information can be written on any magnetic, any magnetic strip. So it doesn't have to be a genuine card that is the old. From the bank it can be a blank plastic so if you're about to tender your credit card or debit card at a merchant and the point of sale machine is not visible to you where you're seeing where the card is being swiped we advise you not to do so because what that facility is the easy skimming of your credit card information ensure that all times your debit or credit card is visible to you it must always remain in sight what I'll also advise customers to do is to, whether you're at an ATM or at a merchant using a point of sale, once you're about to enter your PIN, ensure that the PIN pad or the keypad is, is covered so your PIN is protected. 
customers who believe that their cards might have been compromised should immediately contact our customer care center at one triple eight ncb first to have the card restricted we also want the customer to visit the nearest ncb branch to lodge a formal complaint if customers find any of the devices that were pointed out earlier during the presentation we want you to contact our customer care center or the nearest police station to advise us of your findings let us work together to fight against debit and credit card fraud.